Hi, kids. Today, we will learn how to use division in our problems. So let's start. If John puts 30 pencils in five boxes equally, how many pencils will be there in each box? Here, John is asked to distribute or divide 30 pencils into five boxes. So he will divide 30 by five. The quickest way is to just think how many times five can go into the number 30. Think five multiplied by what is less than or equal to 30. We get five times six equals 30. So five can go into 30 six times or 30 divided by five equals six. You can also use long division method. Here, dividend is 30, divisor is five, quotient is six, remainder is zero. That is, no pencil left. What we need here is quotient, which is six. So, there will be six pencils in each box. Let's take another problem. If John puts 32 pencils in five boxes equally, how many pencils will be left? Here, John is asked to distribute or divide 32 pencils into five boxes. So, we will divide 32 by five. And the quickest way is to just think. How many times five can go into the number 32? Think. Five multiplied with what is less than or equal to 32? We get five times six equals 30. So, Five can go into 30 six times, or 30 divided by five equals six, and two will be the remainder. That is, dividing 32 pencils into five boxes, each box will contain six pencils, and remainder two means two pencils will be left. You can also use long division method, where 32 is our dividend, divisor is five, and quotient is six. That is, each box will contain six pencils. Remainder is two, that is, two pencils will be left. What we need here is remainder, which is two. So there will be two pencils left after division. If Ivy distributes 12 stickers into three groups, how many stickers will be there in each group? Here, Ivy is asked to distribute 12 stickers into three groups. And distribute means dividing. So she will divide 12 by three. The quickest way is to just think. How many times three can go into the number 12? Think. Three multiplied with what? is less than or equal to 12. We get three times four equals 12. So 
three can go into 12 four times, or 12 divided by three equals four. You can also use long division method also. Here, our dividend is 12. Divisor is three. Quotient is four. And the remainder is zero. What we need here is quotient, which is four. So there will be four stickers in each group. Now, let's take another example. Ivy has 20 apples. She wants to put five apples in one basket. How many baskets does she need? It is a repeated subtraction problem. That is, we need to find out how many times we can subtract five apples from 20 to see how many baskets are required. And we learned that in every problem where repeated subtraction is required or distribution is required, we use division. So we will divide 20 by five. And we know the quickest way is to just think. How many times the divisor can go into the dividend? Think, how many times five can go into 20? Or think. Five multiplied with what is less than equal to 20? Five times four equals 20. So five can go into 20 four times. Or 20 divided by five equals four. So four baskets are required to hold 20 apples if one basket must have five apples. You can also use long division method. Here, quotient four means four baskets required. Now, let's take another example. John has 40 colored markers. He wants to put eight markers in one box. Then how many boxes does he need? Kids, it is a repeated subtraction problem. That is, we need to find out how many times we can subtract eight markers from 40 to see how many boxes are required. And we learned that in every problem, where repeated subtraction is required or distribution is required, we use division. So we will divide 40 by eight. And the quickest way is just think how many times eight can be subtracted from 40? Or eight multiplied with what is less than or equal to 40. We know eight times five equals 40. So eight can go into 40 five times or 40 divided by eight equals five. You can also use long division method. And what we need here is the quotient which is five. So five boxes will be required. Good. So what have we learned? We have learned wherever repeated subtraction is required or distribution is required, we use division. And you can solve division using any of the division methods we learned.
Now you may go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video. And if you want to see more fun videos, you can hit that subscribe button. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram for more content. Bye-bye.